Hey there, Crystal Covington, founder of Women of Denver, and I am here with another incredible woman who is doing big things in the world in the middle of a pandemic. Ah! So I am super proud of um, Sarah and all the things that she's accomplished. She has been back to back to back with amazing achievements. And right now she is the new owner of the Digital Frontier, a company she has just acquired that is a B2B digital printing co. And I'm excited to share a little bit about her background, how she came to, to do all this amazing work and some of the um, important and valuable insights that she can share with us so we can soak it all up. So Sarah, tell us a little bit about your background and how you came to, um, um, to come to this journey. Sure, thank you. Well, that was a great intro. I'm very appreciative for that. Uh, it's been quite a path. I went through uh, a number of different corporate roles. I've worked in a lot of different industries. I've found myself in roles I never thought I would be in, in industries I never thought I would be in relatively serendipitously. And I would say the key to that was just always saying yes. Even when in my head I was going, no, I would say yes. And uh, that has led to a lot of great things. My quest to buy a company, to own my own business, and then uh, run it and grow it started about a year to a year and a half ago. And uh, it was after I led a sale process for the company I was CEO of at the time, Natural Soda. We manufacture sodium bicarbonate on a one time slope. Um, and I, I led that sale process and then sort of looked around and said, okay, what do I want to do next? And after having a lot of really stimulating conversations, uh, one woman in particular said, you should buy a company. You have all the right skill sets. You want to do these interesting things why don't you buy a solid existing company and then take it to the next level? And I was like, oh, Eureka, that's an amazing idea. So I went on this quest. I really spent about the last year to year and a half, I say professionally networking, looking for a business as opposed to a role. And I'm elated that just very recently, about two and a half weeks ago, I did acquire the Digital Frontier. It's a 25 year old B2B digital and large format printing company with, I think, a ton of growth potential. So I couldn't be more excited and, and I am learning a lot every day. Yeah, it's wonderful. So I remember a, a couple of years ago, I ran into a podcast that was interviewing a Harvard professor who talked about the values that he's teaching his students. And he was teaching his students how to acquire businesses versus being a startup mm -hmm. founder because his goal was to get them started with something that could already be profitable versus starting from the beginning and investing. Founding is amazing, um, but he's just kind of teaching people that there was another another strategy. And I was awakened to see that that was something that's really viable to see something that's already proven. And you can come in and bring your skills and just, um, you know, bring your own personal magic to what's already been developed. And that's just, that's very different. Awakening is a great word. I, I, I was stunned when I started learning about these opportunities. And so in the interest of brevity, I'll just say if anyone is interested in learning um, my path, different avenues, uh, how you can find companies, let me know. Happy to talk about that um, and share any of my experiences because it's really been amazing. Uh, but yes, for that reason, so the digital frontier is very stable. Uh, the company's done great. Uh, the, the former owner and the seller is amazing and he's still engaged with the company. And so we're really sort of teaming up to, to take it to the next level uh, and working with our clients. And as you mentioned, you know, this is kind of a strange time or some people think it's a really strange time or maybe a brave time to acquire a business. I'm actually really excited about the timing because I think that though, uh, you know, COVID obviously had a, a transformational impact on the economy and on business, even those businesses that have had to sort of shrink back and wait and watch and figure out what are we going to do for marketing? How are we going to host events or replace events? I think a lot of those companies are going to be reaching out and going to be trying new things in the beginning of 2021. They have to, to stay relevant, to stay competitive. And so I think the opportunity is really right now for us to engage and help those businesses um, 
be innovative and be creative and stand out from the crowd. And you can do a lot of that with new, amazing technology using print with augmented reality, you know, print coming to life. Um, it's, it's fascinating. And so we're starting right now with client education and working with prospects to say, you know, not just to wait for the phone to ring to say, hey, we need a banner or hey, we need a, a building wrap, but, um, you know, us reaching out to them to say, have you thought about this? This may be a way to stand out. This may be a way to sort of reintroduce yourself to the market. There's really cool things that you can do with paper that people don't realize that people can experience. There's experiential things that can be done with posters and papers and things like that, where they can bring, you know, experience something on a personal individual level, but still be with the group. And, and there's, there's just so much thing, so many things that I'm sure you have ideas for that people can participate in. Thanks so much for taking the time to share a little bit about your experience. My pleasure. Have a great day. You too.